Welcome, my name is Eva Wengel. I am the environmental uh, analyst at the Trend is Blue. Today I'm going to talk about stock market initiative and sustainability. Sustainability in business. There's a growing interest in sustainable business practice. Sustainability has become important to the business community. Recognition by business has a long-term cost benefits for sustainability. Many companies began to emphasize sustainability issues in their transactions. Hence, there is a need to encourage and guide business to achieve sustainable development. For this reason, Sustainable Stock Exchange was launched in 2009. The organization was created to help investors, regulators and companies to enhance corporate transparency and performance on sustainability issues, which addresses environmental, social and corporate governance issues. The companies which trade can submit their sustainability performance report. Sustainability performance report has seven indicators which a company can disclose. These are energy usage, greenhouse gases emissions, water usage, how much waste is produced, lost time injury rates, payroll cost, employee turnover rate. A number of companies disclose their sustainability report on certain sustainability indicators. For example, Finland is the best performer and has the highest disclosure rate, 4 out of 7 sustainability indicators. Danish trading companies are the fastest in disclosing their sustainability reports, with 57% producing their 2011 reports by May 1, 2012. 73% of companies in Portugal disclosed their rate of water consumption in 2010. Finland submitted 78% reports on energy. There is a great opportunity for business to expand in the area of sustainability, and while many companies already participated in sustainability indicator disclosures, the market still has a vast space to expand. Global Dialogue Conference in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This was the conference organized by the Sustainable Stock Exchange Initiative, held in Rio, Rio de Janeiro, just two days before the Rio Plus 20 Summit on Sustainable Development. The conference was organized in order to discuss how investors and regulators could participate to achieve sustainable development. The main outcome of the Global Dialogue Conference is that the five global exchangers the Global Electronic Marketplace, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, Brazil Stock Exchange, Istanbul Stock Exchange, and Egyptian Exchange. These five core stock exchanges, with, which comprises of 4,600 listed companies from developed and emerging markets, agreed to urge their companies to submit sustainability reports and request for explanation as to why they are not able to deliver one. During the Rio Plus 20 conference on sustainable development in 2012, which was held in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the United Kingdom was represented by Deputy Minister Nick Clegg, who announced that all United Kingdom business listed on the London Stock Exchange are required to submit a mandatory report on their levels of greenhouse gases emissions. The regulation will come into force in 2013. United Kingdom is the first country to introduce obligatory reporting for levels of greenhouse gases emissions disclosed in annual reports. The Carbon Disclosure Project, the non-profit organization which works with 655 investors to drive greenhouse gases reduction, welcomed the decision. According to research made by DEFRA, the majority of business also welcomed the mandatory carbon reporting. To sum up, uh, environmental issues have become a fundamental concern of the trading communities. Sustainability is on the agenda and is becoming popular among mid, large and mega cap companies. The Sustainable Stock Exchange is a widely used framework which, with the ability to grow further. Transparency is sus in sustainability measures is perceived as a good practice which attracts buyers who are who take into account environmental awareness while making transactions. Thank you very much.